Previously on Miracles. You should see their faces. They look gut-punched every time. Just show up, deliver the bad news, and move on. What's the point of faith if it's never tested? What did Tommy do? He heals people. He died healing me. We look into the other side at events that cannot be understood. Tommy. This doesn't make any sense. This could become very dangerous for you, Paul. I think it already has. Oh, thyroid function, urinalysis, calcium, phosphorus, blood electrolytes are all normal. You exercise? Sometimes. Well, you don't have diabetes, gout, kidney, or liver disease. And no brain tumor? No brain tumor. Would you be happier with the brain tumor? <laughs> No, it's just, uh, it's just that I've had some unusual experiences recently. Really? I've seen some things. Like what? It's a little hard to explain. Mr. Callan, are you worried about your sanity? It's out back last time I looked. When you get back? A couple weeks ago. Thought you took off for good. Didn't like us no more. Me too. I like the other kids just fine. You're the only one that bugs me. <laughs> I didn't know what an issue, man. Yeah, likewise. Hey, kiddo, you got my message. Excuse me, Andre. So, uh, good news. I spoke with the Monsignor, and he's willing to give you your old job back. I don't remember asking for it. All right, then. 
Come back to work part-time. What could it hurt? I can't. I think you're making a mistake. So what do you want from me? Your blessing. I can't give it. Bumper yeah. cars, carousel, corn dogs, and if we're still standing, the arcade. Oh. And joys of single motherhood, huh? Mm. Keel's not here yet? Uh-uh. How'd you convince him to bring our checks out here? I waived my overtime. We get overtime? <laughs> Starting. You want to come with? Yeah. Come on. Go, go. Mm, you ready? Yes. Yeah? Right. Hold on tight. <laughs> so, what are you running from? You hate to jog. I saw Father Calero this morning. He, uh, he offered me my old job back. What'd you tell him? I told him no. You don't sound all that sure about it. It's not that. It's just... I feel like I'm letting him down, not going into the family business. But to him, it probably seems like you've joined the competition. <laughs> Sounds like he misses you. I miss him, too. Pleasure. Thank you. Hey, checks. Come on, Mom. Duty calls. The loop. Are you all right? Yeah. I uh, just had a phone call from the insurance company, and you had an MRI. Yeah, I did. Everything's fine. Really? Yeah, really. Why? Well, you've recently suffered a number of head injuries, and. That can lead to complications that an MRI might not necessarily reveal. Like what? Well, in 1981, Helmut Liebman was involved in an automobile accident outside of Munich. He went headfirst through the windshield, and for several months thereafter, he was convinced that he could see and speak to his dead wife. Because there's a new case. It's a uh, haunting in Lowell, New Jersey. When do we leave? In one hour. I've taken the liberty of purchasing two premium tickets. Can't we ever fly? Money doesn't grow on trees, does it? Gentlemen, looking for a house? You're Franny Goldfarb, aren't you? Yes. I'm Mother Peel. Oh, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Okay. Come on in. Thank you. This office is haunted. Really? Hmm. You can feel it. Like a great sadness, heaviness, pain, grief. It's everywhere. Is it, um, is it just a feeling or? Oh, no. People have seen things. I'm working late, right? 
Suddenly there's this musty smell and it's like 20 degrees colder. So I go check the thermostat. When I come back, all my drawers are wide open and my chair is up on the desk. When did this happen? A couple weeks ago. Did you smell cinnamon? No. Every morning, I would come in and all the pictures on my desk would be face down. So, I get an extra early one day last week, and same thing, you know? So I set them back up on my desk, I turn around to send a fax for like two seconds, and wham. Any blue and yellow lights in your peripheral vision? Good morning, Mr. Kittredge. Morning, gentlemen. 